Welcome to the last in the current run of Mock the Week. Over the last few weeks, we've been busy celebrating our 100th show, creating Monsoon Poultry Hospital and noting my resemblance to a giant penis sausage. I think <laughs> there's also some stuff of banks in the Eurozone in there as well. Tonight, we'll be taking a look back at some of those, as well as showing you our usual outtakes and things you won't have seen before. It's our semi-annual compilation clip show. Hope you enjoy it. Here's a picture from the Jubilee. What's going on here? Is the Queen saying, uh, so be it, young Skywalker, now die! <laughs> is, she, is she saying, I can see you looking, Elton. It's my tiara, you could not buy. <laughs> Tom, Tom Jones looks like he's trying to hypnotise the Queen. <laughs> Either that or he's being goosed by Paul McCartney. <laughs> What's going on? I think she's probably saying, Oh dear, I seem to be at Madame Two Swords. <laughs> she's saying, Now you do all have the number for dignitas, don't you? <laughs> is, she say, is she saying, I've got major beef with you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got major beef with you, Richard. Hang on, is she Peter Andre? <laughs> An advert. Oh, sort of yeah. You look at McCartney and Tom Jones, it looks like a before and after for Just for Men, doesn't it? <laughs> Here's the Queen saying, Go on, pull my finger. Yeah. <laughs> All the American actors already said happy birthday to her. Was that a, it? Was, you know, yeah. Grace Jones, who he had a hula hoop for the last for three minutes, randomly walks out, hula hooping, slave to the rhythm. That was the weirdest thing. I genuinely thought, am I the only one seeing this? Why? Slave to the rhythm. It wasn't, it wasn't. Who booked Grace Jones? She wasn't hula hooping, she'd been imprisoned by the elders of Krypton. <laughs> No, you got to be very careful. I learned from Twitter, you got to be very careful. On the night of the concert, I had the temerity at one stage of going, because it was, it was, there was an Ireland football match on at the same time. And, you know, Twitter's a global medium. And I was going, oh, look, this is a score at the moment, like, for loads of Irish people. And I had loads of people tweeting me going, nobody cares! Hashtag Jubilee. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I, like I walked onto the stage, and going, yeah, yeah, Rob, put a sock in it. Uh, it's nil-nil. Uh, <laughs> Was it not a bit strange that they built that really elaborate, beautiful rowboat called, uh, was it called the Gloriana? Gloriana, for, my mate, uh, that. for the Queen, and yet, was it just me and thought, it's a bit weird that she's not on it? Because the only person who was on it was Claire Balding, as far as I <laughs> so, There's thousands of foreign tourists who think that Claire Balding is the Queen. <laughs> I, I, I saw the British better, Queen man. the other day. Looks like she can handle herself in a pub fight. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is chickens, nurses and rain. What is the question? Is it, what does Heston Blumenthal put in a trifle? <laughs> is it, name three things. <laughs> <laughs> is it, what are the most used sound effects in the radio drama <laughs> Monsoon <laughs> Poultry Hospital? <laughs> For the chickens! Yeah. <laughs> Why are all the actors yeah. Scottish in <laughs> Monsoon Poultry Hospital? Yeah. <laughs> doctor, uh, doctor, I think this chicken is drowning! <laughs> yeah. All the things that my gran says are stealing her money when I go and visit her <laughs> in the <church. laughs> Is it? <laughs> okay, uh, what's the correct answer? Name three things you won't find in a chicken nugget. Yeah. <laughs> Is it, what are the opening stage directions <laughs> in the television drama <laughs> Monsoon Poultry <laughs> Hospital? <laughs> Chickens, nurses, rain, a man walks through the fog. <laughs> what is the hospital I'm working in now, is it? <laughs> what was the name of Foghorn Leghorn's controversial early career porn film? <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to do more chicken <laughs> 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 Clear Bark! Clear Bark! 
we've lost them. Uh, we've lost them. <laughs> That's finishing off the chicken at the end of Doctor, get me the beaster. <laughs> There's a graphic going around Twitter. There's a, there's a graphic showing how much Vodafone had uh, evaded tax as opposed to how much Jimmy has evaded tax. There's a little visualisation showing how much tax... Avoided. Jimmy... Avoided, not evaded. Avoided, yes. avoided, not evaded. Very oh, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. avoided. Let's do that again. Because he'll be making his money back in a legal claim against <laughs> Chris Anderson. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to Carr versus Addison, the case of the century. Yeah. This is fantastic. It'll mainly be this. <laughs> <laughs> the Jimmy the pissiest, most middle class law case. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> uh, it'll mainly be that. The, there was a, a graphic that went around showing how much. What is it? Avoid. Avoid. <laughs> Avoid. Avoid. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, avoidance. Okay. Yeah. There was a graphic going around showing how much. I hope this is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been great so far. <laughs> Fantastic. There's absolutely nowhere this can go now. Oh, well. Maybe different... you should have, like, evaded the joke, not avoided <laughs> it. <laughs> I'd love to, but I wouldn't know which was which. <laughs> uh, is, so, sorry, just before you carry on. Is, so, evading is, is illegal. bad. Is illegal. Yeah. Evasion is illegal. And avoiding right. is legal, but potentially so, morally wrong. Yes. So, Darth Avoider was not as evil. <laughs> 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 Just to put it in a context that... <laughs> yes, yes, that you'll understand. Yeah. Is that yes. helpful? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Was, he, was he was standing in the back. Was, uh, he was standing at the back of the scenes, Darth Vader, going, I really don't think we have to blow up the whole planet. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> was he in, like a cuddly bear? Yeah, uh, he was like, yeah. I Darth uh, Vader. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the mod cons of the Death Star, but I just don't like the morality. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, was there a graphic on yeah. it on Twitter? There was there a graphic on Twitter, about evasion or avoidance? Yeah. <laughs> avoidance. Avoidance. <laughs> yeah, it's avoidance. It's that one. Yeah, it's avoidance. Avoidance. There's a lot of avoidance going on here. Okay, I guess. Okay. It's like you're... lactose intolerance, it's yeah. a milk avoidance. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it, uh, Come right, on. there was a. Fuck. <laughs> Well, Peter's got to come in in a minute. Think of me. Okay. There yeah. was. Okay. There was a graphic going around yeah. that showed the amount of tax that Jimmy had avoided, as opposed to the amount of tax that Vodafone had avoided. They've avoided three thousand times more tax than him. This graphic going around. I was thinking, don't be giving him advice. <laughs> <laughs> Six months from now, he'll have his own mobile phone company. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Car Phone Warehouse. That's what it'll be. <laughs> and that is the long road. <laughs> None of us can claim complete uh, cleanliness in terms of tax avoid, particularly if you're self-employed anyway, because there, was, uh, there were schemes that were picked up, film investment schemes, for example, that a lot of people had put money into. I myself, and I feel we just have to say this, I'm part of a film investment scheme. Mm -hmm. I put all my savings into the big budget production of Monsoon Poultry Hospital. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very very I think it's right. Well, well, you're involved as well. I mean, because I play the role of Morag the nurse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we're going to make a lot of money back. It's uh, yeah, it's me and Does you uh, are yeah. involved. Yeah. Like it's nice to know well. where the budget for this show goes. <laughs> <laughs> I want, to, I want to note, by the way, how well I look as a nurse. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly fitting. Big shoulders. You've got, uh, you've got a hint of the reader's wives about you. Know you. I'm <laughs> delighted. If, if you. If you turned up at my bed in yeah. a hospital, <laughs> I'd <laughs> discharge myself. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have no survival, no doubt. You'd discharge yourself. <laughs> 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 My favourite Olympic torch story, by the way, is this week the Olympic torch was brought on the raft to the slalom course. What brilliant plan is this? Right, one second later, there's the Olympic torch! <laughs> To be brought and lit from the mother flame, uh, which apparently is discreetly held in a miner's lamp. It's like a Zippo. Uh, and <laughs> they're not bringing it back to Greece, like they, uh, and had to be relit. Olympic flame has to be lit, <laughs> kindled by the rays of the sun, which is not our strong point. <laughs> At the moment, I can't help feeling they should have just given us a special dispensation. So instead of a torch, we could have just, everyone could have had a flannel. We could have had, like, a damp flannel, and you kind of ring yours out into the other person's flannel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's, um, what's, what's, 
What's weird about the Olympic torch day is it's having this incredibly exciting time. It's been on a zip wire in Newcastle, it's been sailing, it's been white water rafting. It's like it's got some sort of deal with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> 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 it's like, uh, it's as if it's sort of somebody's stag do or something, isn't it, taking the Olympic torch, <laughs> white water rafting. I'm amazed it wasn't left in the booth of a lap dancing club or something <laughs> I've so many of my umbrellas. At <laughs> 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 the, the, the Olympic torch, they woke up, chained to a lamppost <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> in Edinburgh. They're missing a trick, aren't they, when it goes out? Because they just relight. It'd be so much better if they just turned to the guy and went, do you know what you've done? <laughs> you've cancelled the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> so set off the right. missile, we are ending this thing now. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. It's all over. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> The Olympic torch has proved very, very popular, hasn't it? Loads of people have been going out on the streets meeting the Olympic torch. And I, I think they think it is actually the sun. I think they've not seen it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's yellow and hot, and they're just there going, ah. Oh. Yeah. My favourite story during the week of the procession of the torch and the endless procession of the torch uh, is Jill Mackinson Sanders, who's the mayor of a town called Loudoun, Lincolnshire, who decided as the torch was passing through her town to dress up as one of the local products of the town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire. The town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire apparently is famous for its sausages. Here's how she tried to dress up to welcome the torch. Uh, <laughs> and she ran alongside the torch. <laughs> ran alongside it as a giant penis. Uh, <laughs> Down the street, screaming. He, he, he does not look like me. There's <laughs> 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 nothing. Listen, it's my my, my yeah. arms do not start above my chin. No, let's for the hundredth program and the first time we've been heckled it's by the audience. <laughs> you, you, you look, look like, like a penis giant sausage. Penis sausage. <laughs> Do you want to, do you want to do, can you, can you, you probably can do some clever directoral thing just to disprove oh, the I'm fact that I it. look, you know, can be done. You see, just to scotch the rumours <laughs> that I look anything like a six foot tall <laughs> penis sausage. <laughs> oh, look there. <laughs> nothing like that. Hold your cards up. Other way, other way. Yeah. <laughs> other hand, other hand. <laughs> Somebody's got a new Twitter avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask Hugh to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features David Cameron and William Hague. Enjoying the Moscow weather, William? I don't understand. Why aren't we in a car? <laughs> well, we can't. There's one road in and one road out after the pasty thing. We can't afford another U-turn. <laughs> Never mind, it won't matter. Now, I am David Cameron, Prime Minister of Great Britain. This is William Hague, Phil Mitchell look-alike. <laughs> We're here to meet Vladimir Putin and the, uh, you know, the other fella. Oh, uh, yes, well, you say you are Prime Minister, yet you do not have a car. <laughs> yes, well, we haven't come in a car. Even the Greeks have a car, and their economy <laughs> is shit. <laughs> well, well no, please let us in. He is expecting us, so uh, if you could show us to the gatehouse. <clears throat> So, this is the inside of the fearsome Kremlin. Can't see why it's so frightening. Perhaps people have never been to Barnsley. <laughs> so, Vladimir, lovely to see you. Didn't recognise you with a shirt on. and Not, uh, <laughs> not wearing, uh, riding a horse. Yes, come and meet the others. Hello, Hig. Hello, Natalia. Yes, uh, how do you do? I am uh, David... I, I am the British... Hello, how do you... How do you do? I am David, David Cameron. How do, I am the British... <laughs> Not one handshake. Well, never mind, David. You've only, you've only lost a bit of pride. At least you haven't mislaid your child again. <laughs> I've come to think of it. I wonder where she... Um... Never mind. Let's listen to what... Um... <laughs> so, Comrade Cameron, your mission is complete. No phase two. You will travel to Washington. You will give Obama a present he is not expecting. <laughs> oh, my God. He's gone completely mad. So, <laughs> never mind. Carry on as normal. <laughs> Don't eat any sushi. So, <clears throat> right. Vladimir. We are very pleased to be here at this historic time for both our countries. We wish to foster trade links between our two great nations. Uh, Russia and Britain are uniquely matched in that you have lots of money and uh, we are quite happy for you not to pay any tax at all. So, <laughs> could, you, could you translate that, please? <clears throat> 
Yes, certainly. Uh, he says you are a criminal who rigged the election and you should be brought in jail. Hmm. <coughs> I didn't say that. I was mistranslated. I was talking about trade links. <clears throat> yes, he says you dress like a girl and you smell like a meerkat. <laughs> yes. Kill him. Thank you very much, Chip. Why was a Preston to London megabus stopped by the police on the motorway this week? Just it's, the usual it's, reasons. It's, yeah. <laughs> this was the story where a passenger reported seeing some smoke coming out of some mm. other passenger's bag, thought it was a bomb, Turned out it was a fake cigarette that was producing water vapour. Now, let's face it, if you've been pulled over, loads of police have arrived, you've got guns in your face, you're being accused of being a terrorist. That's not going to help you give up smoking, is it? <laughs> I'm always really freaked out by Megabus. I mean, mm -hmm. It's not well, the, the weirdest thing in the world, the Megabus. Nothing against the bus service itself, but when you drive, like you drive a lot of time on the motorway, going to gigs, like the back of the Megabus when you're driving along, like whatever, for those of you who haven't had the pleasure, right. that's, that, you could, there's times you just get hypnotised by that weird... <laughs> there are many things I've observed. Firstly, why does that man have such large breasts? Yes. <laughs> Staring at that man's breast, going, that is, that is the same. What kind of. Where can you go for one pound? I, I thought you'd have to contact Megabus. Dive. There's, I'll there's an address I'll there. I'd have to put plus a 50p booking fee as if people are going to yeah. go, well, that's a rip off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walked in here with this in my hand, <laughs> expecting to be transported to a faraway land. <laughs> then I find you want more money off you. <laughs> Screw you, Megabus man. What a big yellow man with enormous <laughs> bazongas. Looks disappointed behind. The counter. Oh! <laughs> that is very I apologise. I apologise. I know that when you're disappointed, you don't go. I am disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Megabus represents the top of the list of the decadence of the West, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will bring the West to its knees. Middle-aged women from the North will no longer be able to go to matinees at the West End. <laughs> Shall not visit their girlfriends in faraway towns. Mwah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know what's really irritating about this for the entire. In my ear, constantly, people are going, Wear the hat, wear the hat, wear the hat, <laughs> wear the hat. <laughs> because, yeah, they gave me a yellow hat because they think I look like the Mega Bus guy. Means that that man looks like a, a penis sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use. They should call it penissausage.com or something yeah. else is already called. You're just penis. bringing this up to try and make everybody forget that you look like a penis sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what's going on here. You just look like a penis sausage in a yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ownership of the joke now. <laughs> Somebody's got else. another new Twitter yes. avatar. <laughs> am, I, am I a little bit shy? Mm. In other news, yeah, that's that, that's that done now. Uh, <laughs> literally, that's all they need me to say. Was there anything else you want me to do? Any other pickups? There's no point in avoiding taxes when earning it is that easy. <laughs> You know, they could have actually dropped that into the show anyway, except you're suddenly randomly I know. drunk. <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah. I, I just like the taste. <laughs> Thank you very much. Who? Are you... Who are you talking to? <laughs> well, let's be honest, we've all been wondering. <laughs> And Rooney is in... Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Rooney is in... Shut up! <laughs> nice to know where the applause ended before you could sit down, so you had to sit down in complete silence. Uh, <laughs> But it was good, but it wasn't that good. You mean, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so, what's, so well, what's been happening in your 2012? You have to tell me something about how good it is. I don't have to this. tell you fucking oh, anything. Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's the wrong category. 
The RSPCA, they've told farmers that they need to move their cattle to higher ground. When you said I couldn't get over the image of a pre of a farmer going, take me to higher ground. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't steal the cattle. I wasn't expecting you to dance in the middle. Me. Me. That's more of that, isn't it? <laughs> take me to higher ground. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> it's a strange time to be doing a language tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but he was very angry about his gas fire. <laughs> <laughs> is it in fact apparently one million Britons go to work on drugs? Yes, yes, it is. One in 30 apparently test positive for drugs, and in some firms, as much as one in seven. You know, so if you're looking round this particular panel, <laughs> I've got to be honest, my money's on Milton. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next topic is. The next topic is. <laughs> walk the fuck away. Bloody penis sausage! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the 1980s in, in Manchester, there, we had a, this huge pigeon problem, and there were not huge pigeons, I mean, that would be an awful lot. <laughs> 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 I've lost my earpiece. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Something's just come out of his penis. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, penis sausage. <laughs> I literally ejaculated my earpiece. <laughs> oh. Sausage penis head. <laughs> yeah. Dick me to heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's actually much more. Yeah. One. Singular sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when we're about to discuss this, I would ask you to temper your comments, your jokes and your observations with the fact that Andy Murray, the runner-up in the British Men's Singles uh, Final, is actually out there in the audience at the moment. Big hello to Andy Murray, who's out there. Thank you very much, Andy. Specifically said, yeah, no fuss, no fuss. <laughs> uh, just want to drop in at the uh, back of the show. Just enjoy, just enjoy the gig, you know, just like anyone else would. Yeah, it's got, it's got a big thing happening about the whole thing. That must so, be, if I... you could just, uh, all I'm saying is, it's a pleasure to have you here, Andy. Enjoy the show. We obviously, when you're talking about the final, keep it light. Keep it light. Some, some glasses down there, you could have a crack at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I am not doing every test that we do in the show. <laughs> yes, uh, they found the Higgs boson, Professor Higgs' yeah. projection. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. I'm seriously <laughs> not going to do this, right? I, I cannot look yeah, like no, everything <laughs> that we discover in the show. <laughs> Looks like... Uh... OK, here we go. The first subject is things you didn't hear at the Queen's Jubilee. And look at that, a sea of red, white and blue as thousands of hyperactive children vomit up the icing <laughs> from the Jubilee. <laughs> ah. You can't help thinking that nationalism may have gone a little too far. The flotilla is now anchored off France, ready to invade Calais. <laughs> And we hear recently that the Queen's dogs have done a complete overhaul of the palace plumbing system. Mercifully, they're corgi registered. <laughs> Come in, number 46. Your time is up. <laughs> and now's our chance to join in lustily with the second verse of the national anthem. <laughs> On to be served. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. The Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Doc, so uh, if I say I've got a bladder infection, will it work? <laughs> oh, excellent. I can't stand Gabby Barlow. <laughs> Harry, when I told you to put on your uniform, I didn't mean that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's amazing to think, isn't it? She is 86 years old. Please give it up one more time. Annie Lennox! <laughs> And this is a real Jubilee mug. A man who's paid £25 <laughs> for a Jubilee mug. <laughs> Awful scenes before the concert as a rather embarrassing fat man has jumped onto the stage, is pulling faces and mouthing to Robbie Williams records. Oh, oh. <laughs> And the Queen places the diamond in the stand, lighting the final Jubilee beacon. Now she enters the Crystal Dome and tries <laughs> to collect as many golden coupons as she can. <laughs> and the boat spread out over the vast space of the Thames, like thoughts in Fern Cotton's head. <laughs> Oh, there she is, Her Majesty the Queen. Where else could you see an 86-year-old standing for hours just waiting to be seen? Well, any NHS hospital. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Our next topic is... Unlikely lines from a thriller. What more evidence do you need that there is a mole? Look at the lawn! <laughs> Your wife's head in a box. You must be the most unlucky contestant ever on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> what colour wire do I have to cut? The lilac, the mauve, the salmon pink or the fuchsia? <laughs> I want to make you a vodka martini. You can't handle vermouth. <laughs> Is that a gun in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? She purred. Yes, it is a gun in my pocket, and I've just shot my cock off. <laughs> I'm telling you, there will be no attack. This is a side picked by Roy Hodgson. <laughs> so, Mr Bond, we meet... Ah! Oh, flipping cat! <laughs> Captain, I work best alone! Or sometimes in a team! <laughs> Basically, I'm saying I'm flexible. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Bond, we meet at last. Why didn't we have a Skype? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to gently lift your horse's foot. <laughs> you can't handle the hoof! <laughs> I had human liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. But the entertainment was excellent and he was a lovely host, so I'm going to give Hannibal seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Johnny! Do you mind? I'm trying to have a shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> this prostitute isn't dead, said the Norwegian detective. She's just pining for the fjords. <laughs> As his eyes gradually became accustomed to the shadowy darkness, he realised he was not alone in that room. <gasps> Who is it? <laughs> it's me, Peter O'Brien! <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're going to watch this report. You're going to Greg, you and Chris! <laughs> right, so you have four different permutations for the ending. Is your name still Dora O'Brien? Just, just a name. No, <laughs> sausage <laughs> penis <laughs> face. <laughs> Uh, I've been sausage penis face. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>